Nick says he never should have been arrested. Chickens are dying every day, people, at churches, Popeyes, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Great point. Great point. Really? You are! There it is. Hell yeah, boss! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Good morning! And welcome to episode 982 of Hard Factor. It is Friday, July 8th, 2022. Thank you for cheating on the news with us today. We've got some dirty dogs in the cup of coffee in the big time with Mark. Is that right, Mark? We do. Some... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, um, some familiar ones, but sadly, it's it's a, it's a farewell. We're putting one to uh, pasture. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. R.I.P. Dirty dog. Um, we've got a gun control talk with Pat on deck. It's not about gun control, really. Oh, great. Uh, but it, but it involves <laughs> gun control. But it's really more about just one family that I'm worried about. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then a, a special baby from India and another thing China can't do as well as the U.S. in the TikTok international moment with Wes. Nailed it. Nice. nice. Uh, and then I've got the high five to buzz our way out on this holiday week into a much needed weekend. Because like hey, uh, holiday condensed weeks, you do like all that work in, in less days. And then you're, you're like right. bewildered by the end. You're already tired coming in, hung over, and then you're still hung over at the end. That's how it I had, works. I had a fun surprise at the end of my COVID week. I'm sure people are uh, thrilled to hear about my COVID again. Uh, <laughs> I've completely lost my taste and smell yesterday. Gone. 100%. Look at that. 100% you, gone. Can't you're smell You're getting taste like the long COVID. Anything. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're not I, sick. You just lost all that. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling better physically, but I might, you know, have six months ahead of me of no taste and smell. We'll see. Wow. This is well, great for your body. This is, uh, this, yeah, I'm going to lose weight for sure. This is forcible oh, yeah. weight loss. And like, look, don't we all yes. want forcible weight loss? <laughs> it's the only kind no, of that we can I'll tell do. You what. It's the only way. It's the only it's, stuff we can consider. I had a, I had a mini has panic anybody else lost though, it's, it's, Has anybody else lost it on the show here? No. I, I, lose it. I didn't lose my taste. I just lost my smell. I wanted it to come back. Didn't so. Yeah, I had a mini panic attack last night. I was yeah. like, I was like, this is good. This is going to be good for me. And then I was like, this is this is horrible. This is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> just, just wait, listeners. If Mark hasn't gotten his sense of smell or taste back within the next five days, you're going to see a very stressed out man. Mark's going to yeah. go to the Wuhan lab himself. He's, yeah. he's, he's going to go there and then to the CERN. He's going to book a one way ticket. Two stops. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I'd like to see someone about this. It's like Rambo first blood, yeah. except Mark taking. Now I got to remember the shower because I, I can't smell myself. It's just it's a mess. Whatever. <laughs> Last COVID update for me. Maybe. Maybe. You look <laughs> today. You look good, and you're only going to yeah, you keep, you're good. only going to be looking better. So yeah, you Thank sound you. a lot better. Keep it so. positive. This is this is twenty pounds gone, guaranteed. This is a guaranteed yeah. twenty <laughs> that's, dropper. That's tr that's true. Hopefully By the way, yeah, back, everybody but. out there should just go get COVID. You know, on person. Yeah. Who, who won the weight loss competition? I I, I Greg quit Riley. After oh, oh, really? Greg Riley, the organizer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Greg Riley. Always the organizer of our Fatathon, our Discord administrator. Uh, Greg Riley, thirteen point three percent. Yeah. Wow. How many pounds is that? Uh, for um, him, thirty three. Damn. Yeah, there you go. Pretty good, good. Job, Greg. Uh, John F. got second. Tim A. got third. Dave Storms got fourth. Hard Factor Mark got fifth. Dooley got sixth. And Hard Factor Will got seventh. Survivor Sean go. eighth. It's me, Al Green, ninth. And Trash Mondo, tenth. That rounds out the top ten. Hell yeah. Everyone everyone you know that, that did it did a good job. Um, Tim A. hit an all-time low for his lifetime, like for his adult lifetime. There, a lot of good stuff going on. We'll do another one maybe in the fall. Yeah. And I'm going to try to start that one lighter or the same that I ended this one. Same. Oh. Same here. I'm the fattest lots of ideas. Been. I'm going well, to com complete it. Next one. Yeah, I noticed you guys didn't make yeah. the top 10. What I happened had a couple there? bad weeks, and then I just said, ah, I need to eat my feelings. That's okay. I, I, I bailed on the last two fatathons. It's what a 12 week thing. You gotta, once, you, once you decide to join it, you just got to decide to go. Hop my on parents in, came fellas. to town, and I was fucked. Yeah. Hop on in, fellas. Next one. Yeah, next one. You guys are both on vacation on the last week of the Fatathon too. That's uh kind of That's kind tough. of rough for Fatathons. It's true. Yeah. True. Say lovey. Say. 
la V. You guys ready to do the news, or yeah? Oh, oh should I? I guess I should have done that because <laughs> yeah. I'm doing. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the news. Let's hear Cup of coffee in the big time. <laughs> I was like, who's gonna say something? Yeah. Who's gonna say something? You uh, close to your family. Yeah. <laughs> Today's fun fact. Let's do a, another NFL quarterback uh, one. Mm. This will be the second uh, NFL quarterback. I like this fun trend. fact of the week. Yeah, exactly. And it is uh, total weirdo. Aaron Rodgers got a new tattoo that is completely insane. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, it's not that insane. Well, it's it the looks, highest, no, no, no. the highest tattoo ever, ever designed. It looks absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong. He went to one of the top tattoo artists in the world. He's Aaron Rodgers. It's some Hungarian it's guy. Zodiac. Yeah, it's some Hungarian shit. guy that's obsessed with NFTs and is like an NFT freak. Uh, the but knowing eye. Exactly, yeah. Wes. Illuminati, it's just, Zodiacs, exactly. it's oceans, just so compasses, Aaron Rogers and yeah, so stupid. Yeah. Oh yeah, all sorts of all, everything you just mentioned and more. It's all about astrology and conspiracy theories. It's been broken down. Oh, by, it's so deep. Yes. Yeah. So it's you. The meaning you'll never know. Would well, don't ask him the meaning. Your it's an hour mind. long conversation. He wants he wants to tell you the meaning. Is that sure. on his throwing arm? I don't know. <laughs> if he if, if if you he got it right there so that you can see it when he passes you the blunt. Like, so as yeah. he's blowing out, you see it and he's handing you the blunt and he's like, oh, did you see my tattoo, by the way? Uh, uh, what it is, actually. I don't. I think you're giving him too much credit for just weed. This is more of a DMT or toad looking tattoo to me than, than just weed. You, but, you're, you're, but, weed's involved, but that's not what inspired this tattoo at all. Uh, it's DMT or toad looking. That's his mainstay for sure. Yeah. Um, it's been broken down by several people and all seem to think the same thing on it's a docile line in the day and savage at night and the all seeing eye and his stupid astrology signs and his dots mean some sort of musical thing. He says it's got specific meanings to him, but he's fucking insane and dating a witch so who cares hey uh, she's just a hippie man yeah also sure. mark uh think about this whether you're passing somebody uh a joint or a vial of dmt mm -hmm. you're still going to show them the forearm oh for sure mm -hmm. he's gonna like like what said he'll tell anyone that wants to hear about it and talk to him about it uh rogers just saying though if it is on his throwing arm and he hits a slump. It's the all throwing you know I mean? eye. It's, it's a lot of pressure. You is it his I mean? throwing arm? Or it's, I bet his off it's, arm, right? It's the eye lining up with the touchdown. Um, right it's on. probably his off arm. See? Let's see. Let's see if we can tell. What well, sucks the, now, the indentation of the that that looks like left arm. Left. That's left yeah. arm. Right? It's a left. Okay, you, so it's his off have, arm. Yeah. You have that on like your jerk off arm. That is that is the distraction. Um, yeah, you don't look at it. Well, you can't help but look at it if it's on your forearm. You're like thinking that. about conspiracy yeah, theories. Yeah, you're thinking like, should I be doing this? Is it is now right. is is the moon and you know right uh, recession? What's going on? Mercury's is someone watching yeah. you. Rogers is like if the biggest hippie and biggest QAnon person had a kid and both belligerently instilled their beliefs into them. As yeah. A kid. I was saying, I think he's like, he has no like, so few like Shaggy. Hippies. This he's is not that moron. crazy. He's, he's like Shaggy moron. from Scooby yeah. Doo. If he, if Shaggy from Scooby Doo was one of the best quarterbacks of all time, Pat, it's not that he's the biggest hippie. It's that he's a hippie and a conspiracy theorist and a nut job and an anti vaxxer and a flat earther. And dude, he's, Shaggy would have done things. all he's, that. He's, the, he's like, he, yeah, he's insane. Uh, anyways, let's move on from that loser. Honorable mentions. Um, R.I.P. to James Kahn. Uh, legendary actor, father of Scott Kahn, uh, who played such roles as uh, Sonny in The Godfather, Brian Piccolo in, from Brian's Song, author Paul Sheldon from Misery, and Walter, the father from Elf. Yeah. Just wow. a goddamn legend. R.I.P. Yeah. He had a Kahn long life, right? I mean, he, he did. He, he passed away yesterday at the age of 82. I love James Kahn. He's a tough guy. He's a funny guy. Great voice, great actor. Yeah. Tough son of a bitch, I hear. Yeah. R.I.P. For sure. It's funny because they're like, basically, he was supposed to be a huge superstar. You know, he had big, huge roles in the 70s. He was Sonny. He was Breakout in The Godfather. And then he just took a bunch of weird movies that went nowhere, but he bounced back. So all good. Some crazy facts about Khan, too, was um, he was a super multi, uh, super multi-sport athlete. He played football at Michigan State. He was a black belt in karate, and for uh, several years, he was a regular on the rodeo circuit where they called him the Jewish Cowboy. Damn. Damn. Rodeos, yeah, hard on your body. Oh, he's a tough bastard. Yeah. Uh, one more RIP to an even bigger global icon, at least in terms of their work, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh, the pop, the incredibly popular manga comic that turned into incredibly popular movies, TV shows, video games, action figures, and most importantly, card game. Uh, Kazuki Takahashi was recently found dead at sea. 
Ooh. Like floating in the sea? That's the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, like floating in the sea. Damn, somebody oh, wow. often for his fortune. Potentially. They're investigating if it's a crime. The 60-year-old died after an apparent snorkeling trip, and they're still investigating whether it was an accident or if he was killed uh, in the southern Okinawa Island, according to the Coast Guard. And um, he's worth a lot because the series starring that spiky-haired Yugi, who I put up there, set the Guinness World Record for the best-selling uh, trading card game in history with sales of more than 22 billion cards. Was Damn. that a buck a card? Uh, they sell them in packs, but I mean, like... It, a lot of fucking cards, man. Pokemon's like uh, up here, and Yu-Gi-Oh's a little bit below it. Yu-Gi-Oh's billion, billions and billions of dollar industry. Um, Whoa, yeah. I'll be honest, I could not give a fuck less about either. And I did a Pokemon hot tub thing. I mean, they just they, it, whenever you talk about Yu-Gi-Oh's or Pokemon's, it's just it's like in one ear and out the other. And it's not a hard, I respect hard factor thing. I get it, but I it's, it's big enough trend. that we got to mention it. Exactly. I respect yeah. the trend, but yeah. I, 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 it's just you're you're just talking another language. They also point. kind of hit us at the wrong time because they both came out in '96, and we were like 12 and starting to get ready to finger chicks. So it was not yeah. it wasn't great. Great. No, I mean, I know I'm a yeah. tangent aware of what all yeah. they are but it's sure. just gone either way yeah it could have gone either way <laughs> anyways <laughs> let's talk <laughs> divided road there i think we chose i played the og pokemon on, on game boy i just you know just at yeah. this point i'm so out of it i couldn't even tell you it's, what's going on with it's the global scene. a lot of our yeah. listeners i'm sure big big Yu-Gi-Oh fans of course um no, i mean you know hopefully they're collecting cards St statistically yeah. uh let's talk about grub how about grub hub uh amazon just struck up a deal with Dutch owned Grubhub, the giant food delivery service to give free deliveries as in no delivery fee ever for a full year for anyone that has Amazon Prime. What? That's awesome. What? Yeah, pretty sweet. Grubhub's uh, doing that? Yes, Grubhub is giving away their Grubhub Plus membership, which is like $9.99 a month. Uh, but you get it all year if you have a Prime membership. That I already I already set mine up. It took me 30 seconds. I'm in for the year uh wow. wait one last covid reference once i get my s taste and smell back it's gonna be awesome uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyone can go into their amazon account um it's, it's it's just like the whole foods thing where you you have to do it through amazon you log in you find the grubhub thing you click on it and then they ask you to either create a grubhub account if you haven't or log into grubhub and then once you do that you just confirm your amazon password one more time boom one full year free Grubhub. The deliveries are free. You have to pay tax. And if you want to tip, you know, yeah. obviously. But, yeah, you got to um, tip. North of $5. Yes. But that and the, so PAPS, cool. the PAP sign up are two awesome things this week. Yeah. For, so mm -hmm. check it out. Everyone has Amazon Prime. Get the free Grubhub thing. You might as well. Um, and by the way, Amazon Prime. Come on. I mean, the rich get richer. I love that fucking Prime membership. Come on. It's come fantastic. on. It's fantastic. The boys. Come on. Yeah. The boys uh, season finale is today. Ooh! Promise season three. I wouldn't watch it without her, but you know, oh man, you, you know, know what? what? I, I hope the old man has a bounce back sewed because they had it had its first bad one. I didn't uh, even finish last their last week. one. I just started yeah. the terminal list pretty good. Yeah, that that all the way through was actually more solid because the old man yeah. one was really boring. The last one, old man, so. really started off hot. All right, yeah. let's take some. Let's take it to some sentencing. Some bad people got some sentencing yesterday. Uh, first up, Jerry from Cheer. I remember Jerry? Everyone loved Jerry. Ellen it's loved me, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> Ellen and Jerry. Uh, she positive. Had, she, she had him on. Yeah, he's so happy. She had him on like ten times. Even hired him to do field work on red carpet events. Like uh, she really, really leaned into Jerry. She really really never did. even seen this guy. I mean, with all due respect, to Will's Ellen, out on the trends today. Everyone leaned into Jerry. <laughs> everyone leaned into Jerry. I, I I talked to like of course not a lot of people because it was pandemic. But everyone I talked to about Jerry was like, "How about that Jerry?" And I, I was like, "Yeah, that Jerry man." My wife and I like Jerry. She was heartbroken when the news came out that the absolute breakout star of the incredibly popular popular Netflix documentary series Cheer season one Jerry the jovial unit turned out to be a giant creepy pedophile that made 12 year olds blow him uh, oh, he said damn he sent young boys nudes and asked for their nudes and like forced sex on them at youth gymnastic or uh, sorry cheer events that he's a he, rapist he's a that, he's child yes, rapist that he right. was a figure of authority at so he's like wow. you know he's like a national champion 18, Jerry, 18 19 year old cheer and he's going to these 12 13 year old cheer events as like the speaker and the and the person of the uh, of honor and then he's like forcing these kids he's been dming to go to the bathroom with them and then fucking them in the ass and making them blow them. he's an yeah. evil person he raped yeah. them really nicely though 
Oh, yeah. for sure. He's like, hey, hey, you did. Yeah. He's very laughing kind the rape. Yeah. 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 Jerry's gay uh, pedo ass got sentenced to 12 years yesterday in jail, and uh, he better hope he gets some isolation because you know, there's no amount of cheer that's going to stop the boys from getting him. Uh, right? Right. <laughs> Fuck Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you betrayed Ellen's trust, huh? Yeah, that's what they're gonna be mad at. <laughs> right. But the Ellen boys. No so one betrays Ellen. Imagine, Ellen's trust. Imagine being a fucking intern on that set with Jerry and Ellen. Good lord. Yeah, a lot of a lot of talk happy, about a lot of fake yeah, happiness. A lot of nervous people. <laughs> yeah. They're all so happy, but if you cross them, you're fired. Uh, next scumbag to get sentenced is a little known guy by the name of Derek Chauvin. Chauvin, ever heard of this guy? Yeah, Likes yeah. to kneel, not on anthems, but uh, uh, necks, not on anthem ceremonies, but on necks. Right. Uh, well, you may be saying, wait, Mark, Derek Chauvin got sentenced to 22 and a half years uh, for killing George Floyd last year. Right. You might yeah. be saying that. Like and you'd, appealing it. you'd be right. But that was a state trial. He just got another 21 year sentence for federal charges as oh, part of his um, for the same crimes as part of his plea deal for pleading guilty. He's allowed to serve those sentences concurrently, so it's really uh, no new time at all. It's good uh, news for him, really. It is, because he's being transferred from state prison to federal yes. prison, which apparently is yeah. safer mm -hmm. for him. I don't know why. I didn't read into that. Maybe right, I saw better guards, Lane is better facilities. Get like, yeah. He's Lane's going to get like a nice federal prison as well. There's like more money in the facility, so he well, can get I'm pretty isolation sure the, uh, probably. The state prisons can be privatized, mm -hmm. which is not good. Or like right. where the federal prison system is run by the Bureau of Prisons. That could be, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Like, but it's a, who cares? We don't want it to be good for him, right? No, so I'm he just got, saying, his, he oh, got a second charge. Get, I don't know. Yes. Okay. Look. Hey. Okay. Pat, I think you're right. I'm just I'm back to Wes's point. Like, I just I don't. So want he got to, a second charge. Good but, for him. What I thought. So he pled guilty, but wasn't he trying to like say that the trial was unfair? Didn't he? No, nah, he's he, he's fucked for 20 years. He's done all line. with all. He's that, got yeah. two guilty charges of 22 and a half and 21. So he's just going to be in there for 20 years. For, yeah. The only good thing is that kill him in, in federal prison, you usually serve way more than 50 percent of your term, almost the whole term. So he's going to have a cushier sentence, but it's going to be almost the full 20. Uh, so well, he'll be old man by that time. Yeah, because he was like or like Wes said somebody might get to him somebody's yeah. gonna off him he looked like he was like about 50 he's a picture. he's a prize in there you know he's he's oh. he's a, a real notch on your belt if you take out Chauvin that's right like like, like, for, right. like for a gang gang turf wars type yeah. type deal yeah I don't I don't know. Know. I from from look saying that he, he'll, he'll get killed in prison yeah we like that <laughs> Yeah, that's no, good. I know I know I know we let's compare definitely... killing Chauvin in prison to like something awesome like um like a, oh, uh, like get a, a great Yu-Gi-Oh card. Like a quadruple yeah, double. Yeah, getting a great Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh card. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly it's just the same. Yeah, exactly. If I knew anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it's a hologram. All right, uh, now to the meat of it, and this could have uh, easily been a cream of the crop on most days. It's like a co-cream of the crop. We got two heavy hitters in a row here. It just came out that the richest man in the world. Hard factors, number one in the world power rankings. Emperor Musk's empire has grown by two. Uh, two more kids. Yeah. That's right, Will. And that's he just because... had a kid, though. He just... That's right, Will. <laughs> that's right, Will. You're right about both those. <laughs> you want to hear why? What that's because yeah, uh, I mean... we just found out that last year Musk had secret twins with an employee of his. Whoopsie. Dirty dog. You know, yeah, you know what he is. You know what he is, Will. <laughs> Ow! Elon Talon at the moon when he's down at those Tesla offices. What what was it? Tesla, SpaceX? Who was it? He's what, a dog. She, what was she doing? Neither. She a secretary? Neuralink. Boring. Was it Neuralink? Oh, oh these man. are his twenty seventh and twenty eighth kids. By the way, oh, I don't know something like that. Mm. Here it is. Uh, sh <laughs> I think it was like ninth and tenth or eighth and ninth. That we know of. Shivan Zillis. Uh, the director of operations and special projects for Neuralink was working on the special project of spreading her legs for her boss. Oh. And he seated her with a uh, child times two a couple years ago as she gave birth to his twins last November. And as oh. you can see, he has a type and that type is Grimes. Right. Grimes and Grimes lookalikes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to further that point, uh, as you mentioned, uh, Garbage rocker Grimes gave birth to Musk's baby two weeks before or two weeks after after she did. No, uh, she did. So, she, yeah, that was yes. a surrogate baby. It was I know, surrogate. but still, it was yeah, still their second child. Well, yeah, I agree. So they still had a child together. So he was uh, concurrently knocking up Grimes and his employee. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
maybe the all the stress of the artificial insemination for the surrogate made him uh, need to blow off some steam, and he was yeah. working on Neuralink a lot, and then it just happened. Grimes doesn't let me come in her womb, so I'm gonna get a Grimes lookalike. He wanted to have a smart baby. That's what this is. He wanted to have like, cause she she seems yeah. like she's really smart, Siobhan. You're right. And and he, you know, and he Grimes is to, not like, see what well, would happen. Yeah. He wanted to he's, look like him and Grimes. He's right. the consummate he's businessman. Yeah. He's diversifying his portfolio of children. You know That's what right. I mean? He's got he he he's, he needs different styles in there, like Wes is saying, and he he felt like this would round it out. Do you think it's going to be like one of the kids is going to get the empire and it's like going to be a horrible competition? Like oh, I movie, hope it's like Squid like the Game, movie Succession yeah. and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> a TV show. Yeah. Uh, turns out Musk got busted because of court paper trails, because back in April, Musk and Zillis, uh, Zylus, whatever, filed a petition to change the twins names in order to have their father's last name and contain their mother's last name as part of their middle name. Uh, I mean, did, did, I want to know, did he get busted? Because I, I, yeah. I read that, but he's the richest man in the world. And, yeah, and he's, he he's, fucked he's his employee married. Yeah, no, no, you can't employee. do that. You can't do this, it's Pat. It's, she, you cannot do this at all. Uh, the order was approved by a judge in Austin right. in May. What a hound Believe dog. Uh, hey, may there, maybe it's just another political hit piece, and he didn't fuck his employee to the point of pregnancy. That dude's got some <laughs> serious the point of pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on! Good, uh, uh, potentially to the point of pregnancy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's got to be somewhat of at least a company violation to not have disclosed any of that, right? It's so definitely a violation. He, he writes of the, some sort. The she, he owns so. a company. He'll yeah, he owns a company. He owns yeah. a company, and it's private. And she is an employee, and had the kids. So she got rid of her. She got rid of her LinkedIn. She got rid of every yeah. mention of Neuralink before this hit piece. Came they out. tried to cover it up. They, they but, did try to cover yeah. it up. Yeah, I mean, look, if you look like Grimes at all, uh, you're eligible to have one of Musk's children. Just saying, if you want to get 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 in that on that billionaire thing um, and you look like Grimes, you have a good chance. And that takes us to I got to scroll for it. The cream of the crop. OK, this is a big one. It's going to take a few minutes, but it's worth it. Today's cream of the crop, sadly, will is just one day after saying he was digging in like an Alabama tick. Our boy, Boris Boris Johnson, has resigned as prime minister of England. No. Sad. <sighs> Over some sad, partying? Sad stuff. Over, yeah. I mean, what was it really? What was it really? Nothing, really. Those uppity bastards finally forced him out. Sad day for hard factor. Now we don't know how many more Boris stories we will be able to bring you. Probably none. Um, oh, he'll still know. be in the news. I hope I'm so. Still, I'm still holding on hope that his October thing <laughs> plays. I think he's I just going to amp it up. The market hasn't closed. I hope he acts like a fool the next couple weeks. He will. Uh, the worst part is everyone. He wants to hold on. He's like, right, let me I stay know. through October. But it was one day after he said he was going to stay. <laughs> stay. Till you um, find someone who's better than me. <laughs> which would be impossible. He's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> understand that no, nobody's irreplaceable, but uh, <laughs> right, at least is... through October. Yeah. <laughs> How about a game of chance? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the worst part of it is everyone took a shot at Broas on his way out, really kicking a man when he's down uh, type activities coming from around the world. For example, Putin had this to say. Uh, we would like to hope that someday in Great Britain, more professional people who can make decisions through dialogue will come to power. Whoa. I mean, who gives a fuck what Vlad Putin has to say? Yeah, that's coming from a guy who bathes in deer blood and sends his teenagers to get killed so he can commit right. genocide. Yeah, he just dis, 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 uh, dislocated like seven million Ukrainians from their homes. Yeah, he's a piece of shit this year. Well, here's another guy who's uh, not a great world politician who's needing a win. Biden needing a win or a self-esteem boost didn't even mention Broas by name or at all in his announcement saying the U.S. and U.K. would still be strong partners going forward, blah, 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 blah. Uh, nothing about our boy. That goes against the last few president's announcements when U.K. prime minister resigned, like when Barack Obama said in 2016, David Cameron was an outstanding friend and partner on the global stage. Pretty nice. And Donald Trump said he felt badly for Theresa May, mentioning her by name. And even Trump was, was yep. kind. <laughs> Not cool, Joe. Our guy's got a name and it's Broas. Yeah. <laughs> he stooped lower than Trump. Yep. Much slower. <laughs> what, was it, what was that like? I remember when Broas got elected, they were like, he's like the Trump, but he's not like Trump. Really. He is. Uh, he's, 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 like the UK, he's the UK's he's like, Trump. He's yeah. UK. He's cheeky Trump. Yeah, yeah he's yes. way more fun. 
Yeah, he's yeah. like fun Trump, but he also yeah. seems like more focused on the well-being of the country too over there. No, potentially, right. but not that. Not according to Brits. That's why he's kicked out of office or he right. resigned after everybody calling for it. Yeah, yeah we might see rose tinted glasses for Broas and the, kind of yeah, kind of like yeah, exactly. Right. Anyway, you, know, you he, think like the next person will suck ass and then they'll be like, we want Broas back. Maybe even Bring back that goofy rugby playing motherfucker. Maybe even people in his own country were extremely disrespectful to Johnson on his way out as Broas protesters outside of parliament started playing Yakety Sax, the theme song to the very old, very popular British slapstick comedy, Benny Hill, the Benny Hill show on loop on loudspeakers. And apparently it was because Hugh Grant tweeted it at the main protester online. Hugh Grant, really? Uh, I love Love Actually, where he also played pr the prime minister of the UK and some of his other movies as well. But I mean, did they play the Benny Hill theme song when he they, got caught getting a blowjob from a prostitute while he was dating the hottest woman in the world, Elizabeth Hurley, point. in the mid 90s? Because he kept tapping the brake setting of his brake lights several times in a parked BMW, alerting the police. Transvestite, no less, wasn't it? Pat, where is it? Hit play. Where Think is so, it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have the clip. <laughs> oh, the clip. Oh, oh, That's you. Oh, That's you. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh. That's what, you. What is That's you in the 90s? That's you, you getting blown. That you was you? Get, no. <laughs> no. Some random guy. Get <laughs> That's just a guy getting roadhead. Where the hell do you get that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say. So are you okay? Yeah, yeah. He was just, every time he felt a, a good sensation, he kept tapping the brake and the cops were like, what's going on? Um, anyways, it, it is pretty funny because all the lives, live news clips in the UK during coverage of Johnson's resignation sounded like this. We need to make sure that we keep the basic functions of government going. Uh, that's really important. There are, for example, uh, no ministers in DfE at the moment. That needs to be sorted that's out. Uh, secondly, I think we need to try and select a new leader it's as so quickly English, as we too. reasonably yeah, can. Yeah. That's like a top two blooper reel, like any sort of sports blooper highlights that plays right. that. It's it's funny. Um, yeah. Also, I mean, the, the, the English comedians are just loving it. I, Ricky Gervais has been oh, roasting yeah. Boris nonstop for like a month now. So it, it, they're just getting down on it. It's, it. it's exactly like if this was happening in America to any yep. president, everybody would be jumping on their grave. It would for just sure. Comedy Central, you know, I, I mean? get it. I get it. But he's our guy. Very funny. You got your wish, people. Broas is going to go back to strip clubs and beaches, oh, yeah. uh, apparently. Can, 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 can I at least take the stripper poles with me? <laughs> I don't know if BBC is having a little fun with us here. This might be an older picture, but they say breaking following his resignation. Boris Johnson has escaped to the sea. So I think they're oh, that's a just, that's a, that's they're a having a little account. fun. They're yeah. having a little fun there. Um, as you can see, uh, everyone's having a little fun. Um, let's hear from the man of the hour himself on what he had to say about his resignation during his speech. You to know how sad I am to be giving up the best job in the world. But them's the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Very professional, as always from Boris. In fact, uh, that got ri that got roasted. He can't catch a break. And I found this uh, remix online. And I want you to know how sad I am to be giving up the best job in the world. But them's the breaks. <laughs> attack vibes yeah they're just uh everyone's having fun with it so there you have it you know it is uk's donald trump the man with a thousand children and the youthful vigor and attitude of a child himself my favorite politician in the past Good several God. years alexander boris de feffel johnson <laughs> feffel feffel five names and alexander boris de feffel johnson son of stanley and charlotte <laughs> is no longer the Prime Minister of the UK, and fare thee well. Oh, yes. Brits <laughs> looked at the dining table and saw an opportunity to have dinner. We looked at the dining table and saw an opportunity to play with whack. Because the Assembly uh, members have decided they have no they don't questions want to, scrutinize. to put to Are you. Are you saying they're abdicating their duty Thank to scrutinise me? Okay. Are you saying they, don't, they haven't the guts Let's to put questions to, to me? Oh, great supine protoplasmic invertebrate jellies. What do you do to relax? What do you do to switch off? Uh, I... 
Well, I like to paint. Um, oh, I make things. Fuck holes. I like to... What do you make? I make... I have a thing where I make models of... I mean, when I was in like, well, Mayor of London, we build a beautiful... I make buses. <laughs> you make models of buses. I make models of buses. So they're going to be do, in Downing Street. So, so what I do... No, what I do make models of buses, but what I, I make is... I get, I get old... Um, I don't know, wooden crates. Yeah. Right? And then I paint them. And they and they have two, two I suppose it's a wine it's a box that's been used to contain two two wine bottles, right? Right. And it will have a a, 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 and a lot of those. Dividing thing. Yeah. yeah. I turn it into a bus and I so I put, I put passengers. Yeah. You really want to know this? You're making you a, you're I making buses. I put on my cards. You're making bus cards. That's what you do to enjoy yourself. Paint, no, I paint the passengers enjoying themselves. Okay, great. On the wonderful bus. There he goes down. He's like Shawn Michaels entering WrestleMania. This is but he's nice. coming. He's coming down backwards. <laughs> He's going backwards on his zipline. He knows how to make a bubble for him, that's for sure. He does. He just makes a mockery of himself. You're going the wrong way, folks. Uh, I cut it there. He gave a speech you while supine suspended. protoplasmic uh, uh, invertebrate. It jealous. Is. Jealous. Uh, and that's today's cup of coffee, which was brought to you by first person we all want to turn back the clock to when boris was the uk prime minister uh mm. for some it's for vanity others, hold on boris yeah others just hold to relive on. those glory days for me i want to wake up every morning with zero brain fog a clear mind and to be as energized as i was when i was a, a young tyke but mm. uh thanks to first person i can take a more active role in my brain's overall health i'll tell you that after witnessing the t deteriorating effects alzheimer's had on their father and grandfather's cognitive health brothers chris and joe were determined to take their brain health into their own hands and uh 25 years of research and experimentation later they created first person an innovative precision targeted cognitive supplement system which uses the brain boosting medicinal benefits of mushrooms to activate the full potential of human cognition and brain health. A boom. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, they're Pretty incredible. good, boys. Yeah. I love the uh, the sunbeam, the energy one. Yes, Yellow. me too. That is also, well, I, actually, my favorite's the golden hour, the social one. Mm. That's me. But, you know, we all like our own. First person supplements made with functional mushrooms aim to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. They use 100% grain free organic mushrooms as well as highly curated blend of nutraceuticals sourced from best in class vendors. I'm going to be taking the moonlight tonight, like I've been doing for a while now. I'm getting back on that golden hour next week. Start improving your brain health and cognition with first person. Get 15% off your first order by going to getfirstperson.com and use code hard factor. That's G E T F I R S T P E R S O N dot com. Code Hard Factor. 15% off your first order. Get firstperson.com. Code Hard Factor. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA, uh, but in these products aren't intended to diagnose, treat, and cure, or prevent any disease, but they're fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Um, okay, guys. Short one, but a fun one. And no, I'm not going to talk about gun control. It's not about gun control. Okay. That's no fun. What's fun. Well, not fun if you're the grandchild of a Republican House Representatives member from Arizona, Debbie Lesko. It's not fun because Debbie Lesko, she took to the House floor recently to uh, protest HB 2377, which is the Federal Extreme Risk Protection Order Act of 2022, 1, 2022. And that's uh, Gun Control Measure Act. It's not the one that passed. It's a different one. Right. But, it's you know, look. She's she's not into it. OK, so she took the floor. Totally reasonable, totally normal. Let's have this debate, I suppose. This is what government's about. But what Debbie said that she was willing to do to protect her right to bear arms is very concerning. And I'm going to uh, play the clip here, guys. Bonus recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Representative Jordan. I rise in opposition to H.R. 2377. I have five grandchildren. That was a smoker. I huh? would do anything, <laughs> anything to protect my five grandchildren, including as a last resort, shooting them if I had to, to protect Wait, the lives of my grandchildren. <laughs> Wait, what? Democrat bills no. that we've heard <laughs> this week want to take shoot, shoot, away shoot my right, my them. right 
to protect <laughs> my grand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she, does, like she definitely typo. misspoke. Yeah. Yeah, she I meant mean, to say shooting someone to yeah, protect yes. her grandchildren. Not, if you've yeah. ever seen the movie Speed, <laughs> yeah. pop quiz, hot shot. Okay, someone's got your partner at gunpoint. What do you do? What do you do? And you shoot him in the leg. That's what you do. Obviously, right. Debbie Lesko is a fan of speed and knows that. I mean, ho- she do. could have been describing a hostage situation and the, the most robust child who she knew could survive <laughs> the leg shot. Yeah. One of the I mean, that's kids, the Biden one of the grandkids was holding the other leg, grandkid right? at mm-hmm. gunpoint. So she shoots yeah, the mean, gun holding she, grandkid in the what's leg. What's that book, The Road? Doesn't that, that book start out with like. A mom like killing, yeah yeah actually killing, spin killing zone kids yeah it's actually spin book. zone she yeah. needs to use the biden quote now about shoot him in the leg to spin on this mm-hmm. yeah. she's willing to do whatever it takes to protect her grandchildren including kill them um but okay look obviously she, she meant misspoke. she meant she meant other she people. misspoke and she is not having it that she misspoke guys uh let's take it to the internet she she said um it never ceases to me amaze me the length gun control zealots will go they turn my speech about protecting the second amendment rights and my right to protect my grandchildren from violent criminals into a claim i would harm my own grandchildren it's absolutely ridiculous i mean obviously <laughs> debbie doesn't have much of a sense of humor and yeah. uh no. it never I'll, ceases to amaze me the links gun control zealots will go i'll shoot them <laughs> i'll shoot them <laughs> uh austin spillane responds if you misspoke take ownership yeah. don't pretend everyone's just being mean to you for no reason has yeah. she said she misspoke uh, I mean, I that, assume, pretty, right? that was like, pretty much what immediately she said. afterwards, right? No, no, that was her response to what I just read. Yet. That's it like a palm response. to the forehead, like, oh no, when you hear it back. She could laugh. Right, but off. I'm saying, like, somewhere on TV, she was like, yes, I misspoke, right? Probably. Like, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, that was her. There's no response. chance she hasn't said said she's misspoken. That was she's her like, tweet. I don't think she was like, the speech was perfect. No, I mean, right. Was, yeah. <laughs> she had done like a world tour. Like, <laughs> I stand by the comments. <laughs> well, she definitely didn't own it at all she was just uh, replying to the people who made it a meme immediately no i know I mean, uh, what i'm saying is she didn't she didn't issue a thing she she's, she's got she, no sense of humor she's got no yeah, sense I mean, of humor. that's that's yeah, what I, you're much gonna, that's to gonna be made a meme you heard it like right of course memes. yeah of course okay um so that's what's going on with debbie let's go let's pray for her grandchildren keep an eye on them uh, <laughs> and real quick guys just for the fuck of it i'm not going to give you too much context here but this is perhaps this is a story we covered on Florida Man Friday, but it's Friday. And this is perhaps the best local news clip that I've ever seen in my goddamn life. So uh, it's about a neighbor dispute and a rooster. And I just feel like it needs to get played. Here oh, yeah. The one Coach Doug's tweeted out. They come arrested me last Thursday. They were here. I was not expecting them losing to my neighbor. That was like my friend. Neighbors in a fight over a dead rooster. He could face up to five years in prison. Yeah, and the two neighbors say they will not come to an agreement, but no matter what, it ended with one of them spending 30 hours inside the jail on an animal cruelty charge. I didn't know to give it a 21 gun salute. CPR, mouth to mouth. You know what call the chicken ambulance? Big Roo was Jason Day Felice's pet rooster. That is until James Nix hit it with a stick. So I'm defending myself. You know, I was feared for my safety, and the no. chicken, you know, uh, d- died. Nick says the rooster attacked people. I have not heard that. Like, we're, we're friends. <laughs> he never said anything to me about it. I did tell him after the chicken hit my dad, I said, hey, man, the chicken attacked my dad. Mm. Oh, what's the deal? It's just a chicken. What's he going to do? You know, okay, well, look. These kids that used to live over there, they were throwing rocks and sticks at this chicken to keep it away. Nick says the rooster followed him and attacked him. His neck flares up, and he's doing his thing, and he's trying to jump up at me. He was trying to get the animal away. And I try to hit it, but the chicken's jumping up at me, and I accidentally knocked it in the head. You know, call it a lucky shot, whatever. Next thing you know, he calls the chicken police on me. While the neighbors continue the fight, Nick says he never should have been arrested. Chickens are dying every day, people, at churches, Popeyes, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Great point. Great point. Really. Okay, free James Nix. That's all I got to say. Wes, nice. take yeah. it away. Yeah, and to check more on that, uh, check out over to, over to Patreon, where uh, PFT Commenter was our guest on this week's Florida Man Friday. So if you want to get the full episode, the full nice. story, some good observations by PFT on that segment, um, go to patreon.com slash hardfactor. Um, all right, guys, mental health is just as important as, as physical health. We might not, you know, display that um, by the looks of us, 
on this podcast, but we know that to be a fact. Um, and you need to take care of your mental health just as much. We're as working on both, Wes. Come on. We are you got to br- cut yourself a break if I know anything about uh, seeking mental wellness. It's true. It's true, Will. A little are, break. I mean, a little trying. break. We are trying. Yes, you do have to cut yourself a break. Uh, learning to manage daily stress and anxious thoughts, like being too fat, is something we all want. Uh, but many of us don't know where to even begin. New Mood is here to guide you to mental wellness and give you the tools you need to tackle stress so you'll feel empowered to take on whatever life throws at you. I'm a huge believer in Noom Weight, um, and many of us use that to uh, to help us along the way of the uh, fatathons over the over the years. And um, now we are very excited excited to try Noom Mood. You know what's stressful? Thinking about how stressed you are. Not a great cycle to get yourself into. Being stressed about stress. Uh, now I'm stressed even more with Noom mm. Mood. You'll take the journey to mental wellness one step at a time. Their guided approach teaches you the power of shifting your mindset in just a few minutes a day. With a team of dedicated coaches, you'll have a support system helping you on the journey. With New Mood, um, I've learned what causes my stress. I've become more um, mindful, uh, which is something I worked on in my sobriety as well. But they have a lot of tools that will help you that. That way you can kind of uh, recognize the patterns before they begin and nip them in the bud um, before it becomes a problem. And uh, that's that's one tool that New Mood can help you do. Um, the app is also super easy to use. It's backed by science. They got a lot of lessons based on psychological principles that teach you about your relationship with stress and anxiety. And it's easy. Ten minutes a day. You can do it whenever, wherever on the app, and you can get started on your journey uh, to mental wellness. So no more excuses about oh, it's gonna. I gotta go in to see a doctor. I gotta go do this. I got it's gonna take forever. No. Small steps and new mood is a perfect way to start those small steps. Um, you're stronger than your stress doesn't get to control you. Equip yourself with knowledge and skills to steer yourself to happiness. Um, as experts in behavior change, new mood has helped millions of people through their weight loss program. So, you know, they can help tackle stress, too. So worry less. Feel happier. Sign up for your trial at noom.com slash factor. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash factor noom.com slash factor n o o m dot com slash factor and um yeah to get, start your free trial it's an app super easy to use just get started just you know if you're feeling like shit it's worth a shot right oh, all right yeah. even if you're not just want to like work on you know yeah. clearing your mind clearing the clutter out yeah you don't it's, have to go all the way to zero before you start building back up right that's you know? true that's no true. one's mental health is perfect fortify that's it true that's right mm. absolutely all right, guys, let's uh, let's pack our bags. It's time for the TikTok international moment. All right, guys, the uh, the Chinese, they can do, you know, a lot of things better than us. But one thing hmm. those little bastards can't do better than us is make ice cream. Um, I'll admit occasionally I go to H Mart. I'll buy some exotic snacks to try from Asia. It makes me feel cultured to chow down on some like shrimp puffs or some squid flavored lays. Mm-hmm. But I'll I'm tell getting you what. fat internationally. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. No. See, if you <laughs> ever, if you're ever at like uh, the hibachi place, one of the best parts of it is being like, I don't want the the mochi or whatever it is. Give me the soft serve. Mm-hmm. Right. That's America, please. That's tell right. You to, what to, to close this one out. I'll tell you what they can do better than us. Limbo. They can. <laughs> yeah. But it's sh- oh, that's an average height joke there. Yes, yeah. they can do limbo. Um, but I'll tell you what, after reading uh, about Chinese ice cream, I'm scratching that I am off my list for good. No way am I going to buy any Chinese ice cream anytime soon. And that's because their shit doesn't melt. And I don't trust any ice cream what? that does not melt. That just doesn't don't. make sense. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's right. A Chinese All- brand known as. Huh? Is it all of it or just this one brand? Well, Sorry. there's this one brand in particular, but a lot stick of them in the sun. Yeah, watch. Well, so what this this brand is called the Hermes um, uh, uh, of ice cream. And for those you, know, you peasants out there, Hermes, Hermes. Yes, yeah, you like me, like I'm a peasant. I don't even know what it is. Hermes is a Paris bag company whose Birkin bags can be uh, seen on the most rich and famous and cost like 10 grand a pop. Or okay. these look like, look, this is a, a, a strap, strap for their bags yeah. that cost thirty three hundred bucks. Wow. So, wow. Just insane. Four thousand dollar strap. Yeah. Um, the brand is called Chice Cream, and it has come under fire after some users posted themselves trying to melt their popsicles uh, with flames or leaving them out in warm temperatures. And guess what? Uh, they don't melt. Here's That's a not video. Okay. Here's what? A video that, not yeah. even a lighter. <laughs> yeah. Not even a lighter can get these things to melt. Um, That's fucked up. That's bad yeah. for your body. Yeah, that's, that's right. bad. Your body uh, can't guaranteed. digest that. No, not at all. It's terrible. Um, the, the most expensive uh, of their flavors is the salt coconut, uh, which I believe is um, it's called Zong Huo Gao. It costs 10 bucks um, American. And, you know, 
listen, I like my popsicles like I like my women. I want them both to drip when they get hot. Yeah. You know what I mean, boys? I want them to you know, melt in my especially mouth. Especially when it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> gross. <laughs> I don't want my, I don't want those yeah. high popsicles. You know what no. I mean, fellas? Yeah. I want my cold to make it drip. <laughs> yeah. You can understand, but when it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I want them to drip a little. Um, <laughs> All that <laughs> needs my mouth. You know? Yeah, yeah. In a statement posted to the popular Chinese social site Weibo, the company wrote, we believe that it's not scientific to judge the quality of ice cream by baking baking, drying, or heating ice cream. The company also wrote in the statement that the salt coconut ice cream uh, contains more than 40% solid matter, while the national standard is 20%. Um, and although ice cream is very, made of various types of milk, some consumers voice concerns over the use of yeah. this thing called a uh, carrageenan, plastic Plastic thickening agent. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, from, it's extracted from red seaweed native to the British Isles. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's they like say, it's safe, say it's safe to eat. But I'm not eating ice cream that doesn't melt. Right. It's it's clearly like natural plastic that that, that they're treating right. that thing with. It's gross. Yeah. That's How right. would your body digest that if, if it doesn't break down? No, it probably does, but it's just like maybe take a long time to break down. It's like it's like because they can make forks that like break down, you know? Right. Because you can eat a fork off. So it's like they they're thickening it with like a natural thickening agent, but it's that's still gross because you can't even melt it with a fucking lighter. It's weird. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. doesn't make any sense. I mean, every every food that I can imagine changes with heat, whether it just sweats, you know, and even like hamburgers and shit like this yeah. thing doesn't change with any sort of heat. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I, guess yeah, I think it's like people drip. It's like gum, which you can't swallow because right. or like or like hemp, you know, like digest. you can make really hard material out of hemp. Like you could probably like there's natural products that you can make super hard shit out of if you mm -hmm. mix it in with food and like and then it just makes the food like plasticky. Yeah, looks looks suspect. It's fine. Yeah, it's gross. You can keep it, China. Um, mm -hmm. All right, moving on, guys. If you had a baby and it was born with four arms and four legs, would you be happy about that? Be honest. Did you say four arms and four legs? No, four that's eight. Four, right. That's eight. That's no. a human spider. No, that's that's a uh, Goro. No, right. Yeah, Goro. Yeah. Gonna post I, mean, I could. How strong? Yeah, he could be post a them. very very good professional wrestler. <laughs> that's true. How strong? <laughs> could be. I don't know. A how what what a juggler, too. We got to find out. Just juggling like crazy. Right. Hey, great chef. <laughs> yeah. Pianist. Great bartender. Yeah. yeah skiing. Yeah. yeah. World record skier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about musician? Come on. Yeah. Drummer. Yes. A, a pianist. Two guitars. Pianist. Drummer. Yeah. yeah. Drummer. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Well, you know, most people would not be so excited. But if you lived in India, you would be. And that's what's happening in the northern India, uh, where a baby born in the uh, Shahabad Community Health Center in Uttar Pradesh, India, on Saturday, weighed uh, 6.5 pounds, eight appendages in all, um, to mom Karina from Hador City. And um, besides the added parts, which came attached to the infant's stomach, and uh, trigger warning, I'm going to show you some pictures of this oh, baby. Boy. Um, Were you trying to drink this in the beginning? Oh my god! Okay, no. yeah, it's not uh, as uh, glorious as as it sounded. It's a uh, no, poor guy. Yeah, that's poor tough. little guy. Poor little guy. No, he's got a, a second body a, growing off his stomach. It's another body. Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a it's, it's a yeah, it's, it's a, a, it's a body that what didn't develop off the stomach. So. Right. Yeah. So they're gonna uh, have to cut that that one off. Yeah. Yeah. Pat can't even look at it. Uh, meanwhile, the baby is uh, <laughs> oh is being reportedly being praised as a miracle of nature and since uh, has garnered a religious following by those who believe but the they're going to snip it, right? Maybe the reincarnation of the four armed Hindu goddess Lakshmi. Um, Whoa. So. No, well, what's going to happen is all these uh, religious nuts are going to force them to not snip it. And this kid's going to die. Uh, yeah, the kid's right. going to be so unhealthy if they don't yeah. get rid of that extra body. They're going to worship it for about three weeks. Then it'll be an untouchable for the rest of its life. Yeah. Oh, um, no. I mean, this ha this happens every now and again. You know, like Russians flying too close to Alaska. We scramble some jets every now and again. A baby with extra limbs pops out in India. They give it crazy attention for a few weeks. They say it's some reincarnation of like Ganesh or like, you know, Lakshmi. And then the baby, uh, you know, goes. To oh, they give it up. horrible. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, the fact is, this is not a reincarnation of Lakshmi. It's a birth defect called polymelia which yeah. uh where greek poly many and melia refers to limbs so the it's a congenital disorder results in additional unusable arms and legs hands feet that uh, appear shrunken and misshapen and from newsweek according to the research published in the indian journal of human genetics in 2013 indian fetuses were at increased risk of birth defects due to a variety of factors including higher maternal age lack of anten antenatal care and um 
maternal nutrition status and high numbers of uh, consanguineous marriages, which is basically like incest, um, closely Ooh. related from the same ancestor marriages in the population. Um, yeah, they, so it's just they, all bad things, except it's celebrated for some reason. Yeah, the, 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 these uh, like incestual marriages occur at like 50, 40, 50 percent in the south of India, according to this study. So uh, southern India is like eastern Kentucky. Um, pretty crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, uh, fun fact from the World Population Review, inbreeding is incredibly taboo in the United States, somewhat legal in some states, uh, not widely practiced. First cousin marriages is are legal in 19 states. Some first cousin marriages are legal in seven states and Whoa. sexual relations and cohabitation are only pro prohibited in nine states and approximately 0.2 percent of all marriages in the United States are between second cousins or closer. So that's what? 250,000. I, mean, I feel Americans. like that's. Yeah. yeah. Is that like a. Yeah. Isn't more, 0.2 percent. Uh, 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 aren't Mormons into this? Well, oh, yeah, Mark, they, they hold on. No choice, We're about yeah. to get into all kinds of religious stuff. OK, because I'm pretty high, sure Mormons so. are like super into keeping it from the bloodline of Joseph Smith down. Uh, you're going to get a lot more Mormon. You're allowed to. You're yeah, Joseph you're Smith. And if you're two Joseph Smith, you're allowed to. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, it's about the, to be prolonged here. Yeah, I was trying to crush the hate today, uh, but it's OK. It's, well, we've, we're, I we're mean, more. the inbreeding, the multiple wives, the latter day saying caffeine. Yeah. Well, check it out. No, I don't. I'm going well, to uh, step on the balcony and rip a heater for the Friday show <laughs> of the high five. I'm super wow. stoked. There you go. All right. Really, really taking it, taking it down a notch. All right. Let's do the high five to buzz on out this week. DMs, comments, questions, five star reviews and voicemails from the heart of hive. First up, direct messages. And Pat, you want to pay attention to this one because Alexander sent in a story about the minions are going to be redoing the office. So he was wow. saying you might be super into that redo, you know, <laughs> just making sure you saw it. Wow. It's everything you could imagine and more. What do you think, Pat? What are okay. your thoughts? Pat's living the life. He's got his own like walkout balcony going on. Yeah, yeah. You have the, <laughs> the house that PFT built. Pat, you <laughs> ever go nice home? Well, I mean, he's, he's renting it, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys will be having a great time. The house that PFT later, rented. So. <laughs> I'm jealous. Um, the, uh, no, okay, so look, I, I took the internet by storm with my minions takes, okay? There's no doubt about that. Um, and Alexander stand, wants you to know, what do you think about the office? I don't you know. want the fucking minions anywhere, man. I think it's the <laughs> dumbest, you know, the most, farts and the yeah, the fart humor. So stupid, man. So <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you don't think they bring anything? You don't think they bring anything to the franchise? I will say the the only minion movies without Groot what or Gru whatsoever are worse than the ones with Gru. Also. Look, Steve Carell is funny. There's For no sure. doubt about that. Yeah, just but the minions are fucking stupid, bro. Okay. I mean, I thought that was good news. I'm a fan of the Minions. Think Me the too. Office like remake the will be great. Uh, now to some bad news. Nick, Tim, A. Garrett all sent this one in about the Dutch farmers getting mm. shafted by the government. Uh, Politico reports police fire on Dutch farmers protesting environmental rules. So basically uh, kind of like a trucker, Canadian trucker situation up there in uh, the Netherlands, except with farmers against uh, the environmentalists and the government. So. Uh, and they're, you know, getting fired on, I guess, uh, for protesting. So, so uh, yeah, not great. Page, right. Page you know? out of our book. Right. Or like, yeah, but yeah, it's not great. Not great. They're taking their land and shooting at them when they protest peacefully. That's not great. Yeah, not great. Um, OK, uh, more bad news. Chris F. Let us know that the Antifa League war games are coming to America. Breaking news. Iran, China, Russia set to hold joint military drills. In Latin America, I think it's Venezuela. So oh. that's coming soon. Antifa League war games in our Do backyard. Not like that. No, that sucks. Yeah, that, both no. those suck. Both those are really bad. Honestly, yeah. uh, is, is it, <laughs> Dutch is like the another one's like the number two agriculture exporter behind us, right? Or like behind someone. They're like a top three AG. Definitely country. a huge port city, um, yeah. and yeah, lots of farmland. So, yeah, but it's a small small country. But uh, but yeah, no, but I, mean, I, they, I read I read like top two like AG. Oh, well, they, they're they're huge in terms of producing shit and, like and it'll trade. Have, it'll so. have like world effects if they like get fucked with their. Farm. Yeah, well, the, definitely the ports, if anything's affected yeah. by any of that. Um, OK, back to good news, guys, because those were absolutely terrible. Yeah. Uh, Am Amber Odon, she got back to us uh, and she liked nice. the segment that we did about her uh, on here. She replied. Uh, we liked her segment, too. <laughs> she, we, we really did. Uh, yeah, she okay. shared the story right away. She's a hard worker. I'm telling you, fellas. And. She said the the segment's paying off, so she's so we're all following each other now. That's awesome. That's us and Amber Dot O'Don. 
she's quite a performer, works really hard. So and thanks to the person that followed her. That's a hive member that mentioned us. So that's right. Mm -hmm. Great job. She said she made a mint today. So good for her. Said she said she had a pretty good day. So we we know you're you're horny out there. (laughs) Bonk to the heart of hive. Take a a, you know any cut of that you want to give us Amber. You yeah, guys, think, can I you mean, donate to Big Naturals, well, ask please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amber. yeah don't, I mean, if you did that, you got money to do Big Naturals Day, too. So make <laughs> you sure you busted. get over to GoFundMe busted Big Naturals y'all. Day. Yeah. She busted you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next up, fellas, we got some uh, high school old linemen getting their fat boy summer on at the beach. Uh, at Eric, uh, 9109, more numbers, tweets, HS football beach workout. Here's the old line. Hashtag fat boy summer. They tagged all of us. Hell yeah. And. That's a formidable looking O line getting ready. Yeah, so who oh, who do you think plays what in in the O line? What positions we got here? Okay, uh, they, probably li- they probably lined it up, right? The taller guys, yeah, maybe they did line it up. I think I think they did. Uh, coaches, the center is the, the guy. In, center is the guy in the yellow shirt. Uh, and I think no, that's the coach. Guard, it's coach that's Eric. Coach. He's got a whistle. There's five. Oh, that's outside. the coach. That's the coach. There's five outside. That's Eric. So okay, Eric's so the, so center, then, center would be gray. So, so center's gray, and then yep. they have the big boy side on the right side yep. with the big guard and tackle, and then the smaller side on the left with the Correct. smaller guard and tackle. That's what Love I think. That, I think they yeah. lined it up and coach is in the middle. What All a right. fun coach. Take it to the beach. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fat boy summer, baby. They're, that's gonna If they're working hard, if they're getting it in right now, that's going to be a good team. They didn't, they're going to get some first was, downs. They're going to get some rush yards. The running that's probably back. good because they might yeah. be minors in this show. You know, a little inappropriate. Keep us updated so. on how the team's doing. I want to root for them. Yes. Though. Please if you it. want to see inappropriate minor pictures, tune into uh, Florida Man Friday with about. PST, fuck, where Pat worst. brought up a picture of two 13 year old girls that he called hot. They were 18. Oh, wow. Yeah. They were 18. Okay. They were 18. In that picture, looked, they were. Che- did I you checked. verify that? They were the only, it was the only picture of them together. It's Bill Gates' daughter. PFT called him out and he goes, age. What are you doing? This Sounds like a lot of people so were wondering how old they were in, in the picture. <laughs> well, you'll have to tune into Florida Man Friday. You will. It's patreon.com slash hard factor. Uh, okay. Disgusting. Other, oh, the other whole DMs. Curve. <laughs> <laughs> Bit. Other D- well, I mean, cuties, Pat. I mean, you really set the tone. It's a work uh, of art, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, other DMs. John Tilly, if you guys remember, this was the guy who was, you know, t- talking about the cigarettes and like what carcinogens are and aren't. He says that he loves all the different perspectives uh, and listens every day for the last three to four years. Nice. Uh, and the reason he was so interested in that conversation he's actually a patent holding tobacco and weed scientist oh, so no. he sent us right. his patent oh, oh, he's got, got a patent for like patenting a certain type of tobacco uh so that's how he knew about all that shit but he says he says that he loves all the perspectives nonetheless still okay. uh, still loving it still still uh so that's john tilly he's a, he's a weed weed we tobacco scientists. He's in the John hive. Tilly. That's awesome. Yeah. So so uh, am I, you know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he sent in he was like he sent in this plaque of, of yeah. <laughs> he's sent in his credentials. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, they're pretty good. Um uh while lay, uh big time listener, he he DM'd he said that he's also a truck driver. He said he hit a bird in his truck while we were talking about the Raven. So oh, that's a good feel sign. bad. No, that's a good sign that the Raven's about to die. I, I agree. Never more for all yeah. these fucking birds, dude. Um, I was uh, uh, I was driving home today on uh, uh, from Washington, Pennsylvania, and I was on like some toll road, like a legit highway, and I was with my son, and this giant fucking turkey just starts walking across the road, like right before a bridge. I had to slam my brakes. I had to like almost go off the road to avoid this fucking thing. It flew out of the way at the last second. I've never seen a turkey in the wild, let alone just I almost creamed one today. Damn. Yeah, it was so nuts. The, the male, it was a, the it was a, it was a female. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't like one of the big. Today. It wasn't yeah. the. Uh, it wasn't. Didn't have like all the feathers. It was a female, but it was a humongous turkey. That's, they're getting bigger. That's crazy. Yeah, they're that's... taking over. The USPS has been warning us. We need to listen. They're they're the eyes and ears out in the community. We you gotta, keep gotta, looking gotta, to gotta the know. sea, and there's something on the land. Maybe we should be looking at. They almost. Oh, they almost took also, me out today. Also, USPS folks. Tell us how you're supposed to tip and like what's the best uh, um, uh, for Christmas, because I've always been wondering. Um, OK, next tip for what Christmas for Christmas? Yeah. Tip your mail person. Oh, oh OK. Start, you know, I don't know how to do it. I, I, and I, I need to do it because I have like a single mailbox at my house. Um, OK, next. P Fitz uh, says that uh, they might teach uh, sexual pleasure classes to nine year olds somewhere, according to Fox News. So. That's crazy. Uh, and uh, Mitchell E. shared a story about uh, Kamala gunning for the Oval Office. Apparently, there's some discord. Uh, Joe's not happy that she might be like stirring up rumors about his cognition. Uh, Chase H. Let us know that the cheese it tostada is totally done due to high demand. So they already cut it off. It's done. Uh, sad. Sad day. 
Uh, and Phil S. sent us one about a bodega worker in New York who got charged for murder despite being attacked in the store. So oh, like yeah. the cashier, crazy story. He stabbed him five times. This is a huge story. Also, Ooh. the, the we do, I don't know if we completely talked about, but the duck sauce guy got off. Is is that what happened? No, no, he no. He didn't get bombed. off. He's he just bonded. rich. Yeah. He bonded. Yeah, he's just super rich. But he did have he did have a refrigerator full yes. of fucking duck sauce. Okay, yeah, yes. he's an asshole, and he may have killed more duck he had, sauce. People. He had more duck sauce than he ever needed before he even got in trouble with those people. Yeah, he is the worst. Uh, also, lots of people, tons of submissions. Again, we know you're horny out there uh, about the butterfly bikini, butterfly babe bikini by uh, Fashion oh, yeah. Nova. And people are just sending this in. And I just wanted to show you guys, show, show the viewers on YouTube.com. I mean, news. don't use it's this annoying. as a cover photo. YouTube wouldn't allow this. This is right. No, no it's it's nudity, basically. Yeah. I mean, well, she's covered. The nips and the lips are covered. The but butt everything is too, else is too, too. Man, you know, there was available. a um, there, there was a uh, something. Else there, there was a beach trip I went on at some point recently. And uh, there was someone in attendance who was apparently I missed I missed this beach day but was wearing something so inappropriate that a family member approached and said, what are you doing? And it caused this lady to just immediately exit the family beach vacation. And I'm assuming it was this because, because I was no trying, I was trying to get a description of what I it mean, was. I mean, that's bold. If anybody Dude, was wearing that. No one's anywhere. wearing that on an American beach, bro. You don't think on the no. Jersey beach. I'm no. going to find out if it was. I it, think it's it mostly just gotten hate online because people can't believe they're selling it. But. There's no way anyone's wearing that. that Jersey Shore. No. Most people, it's probably for OnlyFans. Look, honestly. put it back up again. I'm, I'm telling you. Oh, look, yeah, no look. Problem. She's tucking. You see it, it again? She's tucking in her thighs. I mean, look. I'm not trying to be rude. The lips are falling lips, out. Sometimes. Lips are falling out of 99 sure. percent of women's. Uh, uh, lips can't are falling wear out. That. You cannot wear that. That's lips out. I'm sorry. It, well, but if you if you really paid attention, you could pull it off for maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's the butterfly babe bikini. If you, if you haven't seen the picture and you want to Google it. Uh, and yeah. most importantly, Zach P. Let us know that uh, there are two orcas. Huge headline terrorizing great white sharks in South Africa. Uh, look at that great white carcass. These these two orcas are just playing with them, destroying them, showing them who's boss. All right? It's not even a competition. No, it's yeah. not, is it? But glad they're on our side or I want them to be, you know. You need to make friends with them. Megalodon you know, versus like this. Orcas would be interesting, but great whites. Nothing. No, not not a chance. Uh, and uh, on that note, here's the first video submission uh, from Lombard Trucking. And it, it is, as you guys may have guessed, orcas just destroying their prey. I'll turn down the volume a little bit before I toss it in here because they really put this in. Here. <laughs> At the sea turtle. <laughs> Orca is uh, pulling it. Blocks it into the air. <laughs> now it, ooh. Oh, yeah. What so was sleeping. that? What was that? Will? That was orcas, man. No, that what was, was orcas the guy killing screaming. Stuff. Oh, so help me, God! What was the yeah? Guy? That was just because they're so impressive and intimidating, <laughs> crushing okay. their prey like that. So loud. That's the sound effects they went with. Okay. <laughs> that last, that <laughs> was disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty weird. awesome though. <laughs> I mean, they're strong. They're powerful. It's pretty impressive. It is impressive. Um, okay, in another video, gun control is hot this week, Pat, as you noted earlier, uh, sent in by Zach, Kyle, Cassandra, and many more on uh, Discord, social media, a lot, a lot of submissions. It's the hottest political ad of the season so far. Here it is. Democrats and, like to say that no one needs an AR-15 for self-defense that no one could possibly need all 30 rounds. But when this rifle is the only thing standing between your family and a dozen angry Democrats in Klan hoods, you just might need that semi-automatic in all 30 rounds. Whoa. Jerome Davison. Oh, America's jumped the shark, man. The shark just got jumped in America. <laughs> That's that that ad is so fucking hilarious. Uh, I I said I think he should just make it a movie if he loses because it's that funny. Um, uh, That's why. What do you guys think? Uh, it's insane. I have yeah. no idea what that guy's. I think if is. he, ha I mean, I, he probably he's pro, he's said, pro Second Amendment. That's he probably, tell that yeah. that much. He I probably didn't need to mention twelve Democrats in the He, you know, he lost me there. But <laughs> oh well, it's interesting he, strategy to he's say like, like 
in general, if he had to protect himself from Klan's people, I get that. But he didn't have to throw Democrats into the Klan's people. I think well, that was more a effective bit, that way. Eh, oh, no, it's way more effective that way. It's also yeah, always but it was funny also to say that. Cheap. But it's also always funny to say that because the Dems were the, uh, were the Confederacy. Yeah, but he's so not. Like, then so is he going right. to do it in 1930 or 50 or whatever? Like, well, it's just. He, he, I mean, he's making I have, it funny. I, am, political I imagine act. there's less Democratic Klansmen than Republican. Well, sure. Yeah. Nowadays, he's just yeah. making. Back in the day, it was all Dems. Right. He's but yeah, about, but, he's, but he's back like, in the day, there's all sorts of things that are different he's, he's, today. He's just making, he's making funny an ad in 2022. Okay. That's not accurate. Well, it trended like a motherfucker. No one's believing that ad is is uh, nothing's accurate, but it just trended hard. That's all he wanted. Don't take it to heart. That's I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, Tons of tons of people sent in the Hogan impersonation kid, the chicken guy uh, that we played earlier. Hogan kid was awesome. Man, you got to go to FMF on patreoncom slash hard factor to get some of those. Also, the ultra viral viral fireworks one that everybody uh, has been oh, reposting. That one's Not going to play that since it's silent, but it is a great video. Joe Rogan even reposted it. Uh, but uh, one more uh, video, fellas, and the options are because we had so many submissions this week. Okay, here uh, here's like a reference thing in the middle. Uh, the options are Japes Morello prepping for the Fourth of July listener, uh, Pitbull firework accident from Trace M, a paralyzed person eating. With their brain from Pine Shaw, a UFO sighting from Brian. Uh, ben S sent a governor campaign ad from South Carolina with a unique independent perspective from Joe Cunningham. Uh, the com- the coming emu war from Thomas T. Colin Phillips with a deer sixty nine. Uh, dirty incest dogs from Mike R. Or Costco raising their prices from Ivan. And Opportunity Texas. missed here. Well, this should have been decided by the wheel. I love this though. Will this is like this is like America's no, funny home, this is a funniest vote. home videos. Well, the Factor Costco film. one. The live vote. We posted that one on our Pitbull. socials. Pitbull fireworks. I would, I would say Pitbull and Fireworks. I mean, Pitbull Fireworks. Here we go. Uh, Pitbull Fireworks. Let me load it up, fellas. Uh, tell me why you voted for Pitbull Fireworks. Why, why, why I load this up? I'm hoping Pitbull. Those Pitbull two words together. Gets hurt. Oh, no. What if he's a good Pitbull? <laughs> because you said Pitbull and Fireworks within two words. You said the- I hope it's the singer Pitbull. Yeah, I'm sure it's not. Mr. Worldwide. Uh, it's not. And uh, Trace Music, you won uh, the video drawing from the fellas. Here it is. The Pitbull Firework Accident. Cha-cha! Mortar. Cha-cha! Oh, oh cha-cha! Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> I'll play it again. The Pitbull grabs the mortar, shakes it, and fires it at its owners. <laughs> oh, here we go. One more time. Those things are so stupid. Cha-cha! Cha-cha! Oh, cha-cha! Oh! <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> almost took out the kid. It, it almost killed another kid with a firework. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you could tell that's a good time, Mom, because as the the second she realized that no one died, the yeah. laugh that she had, yeah. it, it was it was like the pit bull hurled a Roman candle at her children. She saw it explode. Oh, it she, she, I think it was, she, was a mortar. She and checked mortar. in on on limbs, fingers, and toes from afar. It took her point three seconds, then she had a good laugh about it. That's a fun yeah. time, Mom. Yeah, nice. It is a fun time, Mom. Yeah, I they, can't imagine that, any that video being hilarious. better than that. So that's right. the amazing. Right choice. The video of the guy of the car blowing up is pretty good. But that, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, the car blowing up is amazing. I just think there's no sound, right? It's oh, like yeah, security. Yeah, yeah. We all know what you're talking about. Are the, uh, the fireworks? Yeah, the yeah. fireworks. The one uh, where they shot the fireworks uh, into the yeah. pile of fireworks. Yeah. Next yes, to the that's car. amazing. Yeah. 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 From the Simply Safe cam. Uh, OK, thank you to everybody who submitted videos. All very good submissions. OK, comments. Uh, and here's a good one in a couple, but really just one related to all the Mormon talk uh, that's resurfacing Uh-oh. this week uh, on a Facebook video that is still getting comments. And the video is called What is Soaking? A viral TikTok explains how Mormons avoid sex. And we may have talked about this before, but it sets up some of the voicemails we're about to listen to. So a reply on that one is from Ilya Armour, and she says, this is one of the dumbest things I've ever wasted my time watching. No, we do not believe you are going to hell if you have sex before marriage as a quote unquote Mormon. Maybe learn a little bit about stuff before you spout hateful information. We choose to abstain because we believe sex is special, is a special act meant for the ones we love, i.e. our spouses. I won't hate on you for not having or for having sex before marriage. Don't hate on me for choosing uh, to wait. And let's remember, it's a choice. Not one forced me. No one forced me to wait. I choose to wait. Well, you That's didn't. What, why didn't you read the it says uh, I won't hate on you for having sex in parentheses slut. Before marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I missed that part. You're right, Mark. Open parentheses, uh, slut, close yeah. parentheses. 
And and then there was a Mormon who had our back, Jennifer Lynn Vines. She had our back. She replied uh, to that to that lady who was hating on us. But I'd say to the other lady, I'm pretty sure we were just laughing at the soaking part. So yeah. calm down a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's like soaking's hilarious, whether you feel what you feel or not. I don't I don't know. Can we all agree on that? Yeah, Don't get your panties in a water around your, vag- your virginal vagina, you know? Like, yeah. Good Lord. Chill out, right? Don't get your That's chastity the- belt all, uh, all <laughs> yeah. bunched up. Yeah, if she's wearing a butterfly babe bikini right now, things are sliding everywhere. Uh, okay. Questions, fellas. Uh, the first one is from Tony, and he sent it twice. And you're going to hear why he sent it twice. Here it is. Tony. Hey boys, Tony from PA here. So uh, recording this on the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, everybody. But I kind of have a weird situation in my life. Uh, So with the baseball team I work with, it's a double A baseball team. So minor leagues uh, in between the fifth inning and sixth inning here, we have called a meatball race. And I dress up as a meatball if you have a costume for it. (laughs) And on Saturday the 2nd, it was professional wrestling night. So... The uh, stunt was that one of the meatballs would get a chair shot to the head. Oh. I volunteered to be that meatball. Oh. Uh, turns out the guy was swinging full force, oh. and I got a fucking concussion out of it. Whoa. So uh, out of work until Thursday, Damn, so we're going to see what happens here. But I wanted to know if you guys have had like any weird injuries that have happened. Uh, when I told the doctors, they kind of laughed at me, um, but obviously took it seriously. So, yeah, have a great fucking weekend, boys. Exactly one minute. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Nice. Tony, you made the one minute, but then you forgot you had sent voicemail. So definitely the take the week off. Because of the concussion. He sent him one minute. <laughs> Tony <Yeah>. also forgets <laughs> how many lawyers there are in the Hard Hive and, and uh, that a percentage of them have to be personal injury attorneys. So uh, Tony's going to be getting some DMs, is my guess. Tony from PA. Yeah, that doesn't sound too cool to get. Right. And also, yeah. Tony, I would say this. I've had lots of concussions. Take it seriously because, you know, you don't want to mess up uh, your brain. But I I will say this also, if you have a video of you getting smacked in the head on wrestling Mm -hmm. night, please send it in. I mean, that's got to be so funny. A a meatball getting laid out. It's got to be so funny. To to answer Tony's question, I I caught a concussion one time with Will, freshman year of college, right before the first football game, I believe. Maybe second football game. I don't remember. It was hard to get beer. It was really hard to get beer freshman year of college. It's not that it was hard to get. You could always get it, but it was like you had to like find the guy with the ID to go. None of us had an ID, and it was just a pain in the butt. Some of our buddies that were in fraternities, you'd like count on them. You'd go hang at the frat house with them, and hopefully an older brother would buy it. It was a pain in the butt. But we were trying to get beer all the time, and we had gotten beer. I remember this on Kirby Smith's second floor hall. And someone was like, we got the beer. And I, I so excitedly ran down the hall, oh, just you skipping. And we had this door at the end of the hall. And uh, it was, it's like an old fucking, it's essentially a school that we lived in. So it was like the metal frames on the doors. And, and was, I, it, was it a metal push bar on the door? It's doors? like a prison. It's, it's, like, like, a it's like a prison. story prison yeah. for college men. College but it was, it was a shitty door and it didn't, it didn't lock. It would close. It you worse. could kick it open. They've actually so taken it down finally. So Yeah. I was running. Skipping, in fact, because we were going to get drunk, and I kicked the door. And when I kicked the door, it it, it lifted me up. I I, I I lifted up and I met the uh, frame of the door at full Back force, right right here in my head. Right, oh, just right. In the old severe piece. concussion. It went Kirby to the Smith. Yeah, well, and concussions happen at Kirby Smith. It's like a prison where you're allowed to binge drink, or not mm-hmm. allowed, but they turn a blind eye. I remember asking the doc. So doc, like. Let's just say I got blackout drunk tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> no. First football no. game of the year. Yeah, you're supposed to like avoid getting too drunk. He gave me the but, okay. You know, nice. Yeah, you know. It's like, yeah. You he got said, a tailgate. Go Tigers. Mm-hmm. He said, go Tigers. <laughs> All righty. Uh, next voicemail from Joe in California. Morning, boys. Joe, California. Check it in. In a minute, I'm listening to uh, July 4th, 4th episode, always very good, and uh, you guys are talking about Brittany Griner, and you know what, I got a question, I'm sorry if you guys have discussed this before, I don't think I've heard it, but is there a chance, I'm sure there's a chance, what do you think the chances are that all this bullshit in Russia, like, like created this, you know, like, it fucking arrested her, 
because I was talking to my buddy about it. If you think about it, she was leaving Russia with weed. Like, why the fuck would you do that? She's so rich and shit. She would inform people, like, you can afford a cartridge when you get home or wherever you're going. Why the fuck would you take it out of the airport? You know, like, like if you go on vacation and you can't fly with shit, even domestically you don't fly with shit if you don't need to. Yes, you it's do. Just, you know, when it's something like that, it actually <laughs> doesn't make sense. Joe, it's yes, you do. That you're talking Some about of us do. Your that friends are not accurate. Maybe they fucking got her, you know? Like, you try to uh, strong arm us. I don't know. Just think about it. Love what you guys do. Everyone subscribe to the Patreon. But I'm mm. trying to do the Apple Podcast bonus thing. So, whatever it is. Love you, boys. Keep up the hard work. <laughs> Hell yeah, Joe. Um, no, Dasha. Now, thank you, Joe. To, to Joe's a lot defense, he fly with with weed. He also, she's not rich. Bathrooms. That, that's why she was over there. Is because she's not rich. She, he she, also she, sent that in um, b- before she pled guilty. She felt. So, yeah, she pled yeah, guilty she on Thursday. Guilty. Yeah, not, I mean, so good. Th- they're looking at trader. Um, so there was a trade done, which sucks, but it was it, it needs to happen. It doesn't have anything to do with her, I guess. With a marine, there's two marines that were stuck over there. One of the marines we got back uh, in a trade. The Russians are asking for the Merchant of Death, right? Yeah. For no, Reiner, it's too big. Which is too big, but but they might they might trade two for the Merchant of Death. No, we don't want to give them back the Merchant of Death. That's that's a right. big. They want that Merchant back, though. What about like be a bad that be a lot, that'd be an L gesture of pain back, yeah. or something like that. The gesture saying, of giving him back would be an L for the. I, I did think it was interesting um, that the the Biden administration was saying, "Be cool, keep it quiet," and the reason being is because. I guess if it gets too big, like too wide, they were trying to sweep it under the rug. Well, they were trying to get it done without without putting a ton of value. Like Putin loves that pressure is being put on Biden. That's what he loves. Yeah, obviously. And then she's been over there for 140 days. No, I mean, do anything 140 days. Oh, no, I agree. I don't. But I I think it it jumped the shark on that and they had to publicize it. Yeah, he waited too long. That's what happened. Okay, Uh, another question, a frog question from Kraken Packs here. What's up, dickheads? Just kidding. I love you guys. It's the fucking Kraken. Um, so just a quick question. I've had a uh, female bullfrog living in my pool for three years now. She's an absolute fucking unit. I sent her in the Discord. Yeah. Her, uh, I thought it was a Jeremiah. Turns out it's a Geraldine, but Jeremiah was a bullfrog, so her name remains Jerry nonetheless. Um, some people are like freaked out that I let a frog live in my pool, and I'm talking a big ass frog. I mean, this thing's got to be at, at least four pounds. It's a big ass frog, and it eats all the other frogs that come into my nice. pool. So, like, just a question: Is it right or is it wrong? Actually, not is it right or wrong? Is it weird or is it not that weird to let a frog live in your pool willingly? Like, I know, I know she's there. I have too much respect for her. She's mm-hmm. a fucking mutant. The chlorine doesn't bother her. She's the only frog I've ever seen be able to get out of the pool without stepping on anything. The only She's frog a goddamn ever savage and a legend. But people get freaked out when I'm like, "Oh yeah, there's a frog in my pool," and they won't want to get in my pool. So I just are people being pussies by not wanting to get in the pool because there's a frog in there, or am I just a weirdo for letting a frog live in my pool? Thanks, fellas. Look forward to the next uh, trivia. Peace out. Shout out the Hardo Hive. Shout out Big Jerem. Peace. Mm, nice. All right. Did you grab uh, the you picture? Think? Did you grab pussies. the picture of the frog? They're pussies. I did not. The I frog has has a rough skin. You can tell that it can t- withstand chlorine. It's got quite it's a-, a green to it too. Yeah. Um. No. I think. Yeah. I think they're pussies. I think th- my only concern I would agree. be like, can you can you visually have eyes on the frog? I don't want to step on the frog. Other than that, yeah, I'm getting in the pool with it. I just don't ever want to yeah. like be flopping around drunk and then whoosh like stepping on a frog the hubris the hubris that you would put a pool in your backyard and then expect that the uh the the life the wildlife that share that you shared the space with wouldn't therefore also enjoy it too is eating all the other frogs yeah right you think there's never been a fucking reptile in a pool you're swimming in or like a something weird in there you, i, I mean you great. could charge it i guess if, if that's what you're getting at you can make it pay i guess but as long as you keep maintenance of your pool and you keep adding chlorine to it and it's a healthy pool absolutely i think he's like i think it's like a professional pool maintenance yeah guy. frog all day the, yeah, the problem tell. is is that girls don't want to get into a pool with a giant frog so that's that's an right. issue 
So that's what he's talking about. He's saying right. that there's some chicks who are like, well, ah, the frog is gross. Well, if we yeah. give him this advice and he calls them pussies, you think they'll want to get in? Yeah, there are chicks that dig amphibian guys, mm. though. So Yeah, really you got to go for amphibian yeah. chicks. That's what thing your here. flavor They're is. a lot of fun. Yeah, they that's what you got to do, Nick. All right. tongue piercings and tattoos, mm-hmm. and they like to sleep sleep with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They, they love it. it. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> speaking of frogs, guys. Sleeping with you. <laughs> that's a reptile girl amphibian girl not a lot uh, of mormon amphibian girls hey, not a, no amphibian but, girl. but the ones that are they love to soak yeah uh, also colin in california speaking of frogs uh he says his nickname is now froggy he's named himself that um after watching top gun and getting a tattoo that says ribbit kaye motherfucker uh and it's a frog i didn't uh, you guys have another seen it, tattoo. Sure, the discord server it's a nice tattoo Damn, yeah, he's nice. getting just tatted up these days. He I is. really hope that someone's giving Colin some direction on the Tinder because I don't know if that's great to put on your Tinder profile that my nickname is Froggy. I mean, again, it depends Froggy. what your flavor is. There we go. Well, you know, I like the tattoo, like uh, which which brings us to five star reviews. I give that tattoo five stars. Nice. Uh, send five star reviews in for the for the podcast on Apple Podcasts or anywhere else that you can and send us a screenshot on Twitter or Instagram DM and we will read them on Friday's show. Remember, keep them positive, though. If you want them read, uh, we're not going to read any dickhead comments uh, about any of the hosts. So we have one to go through this week. Five stars from The Awoken One says, greatest show ever. Started listening and became like their family to me. Pat is the cool older uncle. Will is your hilarious cousin that you always want to hit the town with. Uh, when together, Wes is your uncle that will roast you so good you pee your pants <laughs> laughing, and Mark is the older brother that always is looking out for you and always checks up on you to make sure you're doing good from the Awoken One. Thank you. Nice. Oh, very nice. Thank we're you. We're like family to him. You like, you family, like family to us, bro? Family. The Awoken yeah. One, baby. Yeah. Mark, you're immediate family with the Awoken One. Right. Yeah. Mm. I checked in on him this week. Good. How's he doing? <laughs> he's, he's good. I'm oh, good. Hey, All right, uh, finally, uh, two more <laughs> voicemails to put a bow on this whole Mormon Mennonite Amish controversy once and for all. First, it's Mama C. Hey, boys, it's Mama C just checking in after listening to the July 4th episode. Happy 4th, everybody. Hope you all are safe. Um, but I felt like I needed to say to all of the Mormon friends out there that were offended by the high five last week, I truly am deeply sorry. Uh, never meant any disrespect. I know that that woman in a bonnet was not a Mormon. I'm actually a pretty big fan of the killers and Brandon Flowers, so I probably should have put two and two together, realized that doesn't make them a Mormon just because they were wearing a bonnet, you know, and suspenders. Mm. Either way, not really familiar with Mennonite culture. So, you know, I got schooled on that a little bit. But anyway, Mormons love you. Amish, you're cool. Mennonites, I'm sure you're bitching. My deepest apologies again. Everybody have a great fucking day. Take care. You do you. Peace. Yes. We wish you luck, Mama. See, she's very close to giving birth. Uh, so that's oh, gotta be. Oh man, could be today. Mama C's always she's, got so much love. I, I, I she's don't dealing think... with all this Mormon uh, hatred while 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 in the the late late stages of a yeah. pregnancy, and so she, she don't worry, she's life. married Mormons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad yeah. Mormon though. Just just so you know, don't be mad at her. All right, uh, and now, fellas, Amish Brock to clear everything up once and for all. He's back. Thank you, Amish Brock. <laughs> Good morning, boys. Amish Brock calling in with your Amish fact of the week. Now, I know it's been a couple weeks, and uh, I know you all miss me, so I'm back. Uh, This week, I'm actually going to talk about the Mennonite, which are the step-cousin, I guess, of the Amish. Uh, They are a little more worldly, as they would say. They do drive, some of them, not all of them. There are different sects of Mennonites, like your uh, classic black bumper. There's also some called Joe Wanger Mennonites. They oh. wear these uh, uh, hats that are um, pretty rough to look at, and they ride their bikes everywhere Yeah, with a uh, cardboard box kind of like bungeed to the back of it. Lots so, of yeah, these are, these are some interesting people as well. Um, they pretty much have the same beliefs as Amish people do in 
commit the same heinous acts. So <laughs> that's that for you, I guess. Uh, I'll be uh, calling back in soon, boys. Have a great fucking day. Yes. <laughs> Google the Great uh, Schism you. if you want to read about the difference. Amish Brock will love the, the, the Florida Man for Reddit, too. There's, there's a good one about um, an Amish uh, business down in Florida that's fucking up. Big Olaf. Oh, yeah. Big they have Amish in Florida. Oh, yeah. There's a there's a whole that's surprising. We were confused, too. They get like they use the Internet. We were very confused on how they, they haven't been bullied wow. out yet. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Uh, thank you, Amish Brock. And finally, thanks to everybody for listening. Uh, remember, donate to Big Naturals Day. Go fund me. Search Big Naturals Day. So for the cause, make make uh, make it a holiday. And then everything after that goes to breast cancer research. It is a very good cause. Big Naturals mm-hmm. Day. Get in there. Go find me Big Naturals Day. If you donate 50 bucks, let us know and you will get a Naturals tea to go with that Big Naturals. Uh, so your support for the cause, 50 bucks or more. Uh, we love you all. It's time for the wheel. We love the wheel, too. Okay. Um, My last day of vacation is this Sunday, so I am not on that show. Okay. Wes is not on. Can we spin for high five, though, Wes, before you spin for oh, shows? Oh, yes, absolutely. absolutely. So so can we so so can we can we <laughs> I add? love Wes's oh, coming on Big Naturals. I do want to see him. <laughs> I do want to see him. <laughs> there it is. High five. The naturals. Oh, Unreal. again? Real. Back to the pro. Unreal. Wow. <laughs> this is this makes like five out of seven. <laughs> well, you did a great job. I really like the new edition of the uh, Choose Your Own Adventure video. America's Funniest Home video. It was very good. It oh, was visually you, pleasing, yes. too. Oh, it's the Hive that does such a good job. Not even me. It's true. They submit it all. All right. Here we go for Sunday. Oh, it's loving you today, Will. Coffee, man. Yeah, I am. Most men. There you go. All right. High five and coffee. Keeping you on your Oops. toes. Wait, wait, oh, forgot. We, got, we need to find out who's doing TikTok. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Sure do. PCAS. PCAS. PC. Oh, yeah. Let's go international. Woo. There we go. All right. That's what break. Monday's show is going to look like. Thank you, Wes, for spinning that. Mm-hmm. Masterful spins. Uh, thank you for everybody for listening. As we said before, we love you all. Now get out there and have a great fucking day and weekend.